Welcome to our show, The Consumer Brief. Today, we're diving into some exciting developments across various industries. First up, Pennsylvania is set to receive a whopping $1.16 billion to ensure every resident gets connected to high-speed internet. This funding, part of President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, aims to bridge the digital divide and bring reliable internet to underserved communities. Next, sneakerheads, get ready. The Air Jordan 4 is getting a rare air laser update with a vibrant colorway and nostalgic design elements, slated for release in 2025. And finally, the secondhand Rolex market is booming in the US, with watches of Switzerland reporting a significant surge in sales and a new store dedicated to Rolex in Atlanta. Please stay tuned for more details on these stories. Yahoo US, Pennsylvania's quest to connect every resident to high-speed internet took a significant step forward as the Pennsylvania Broadband Development Authority, PBDA, received approval for its Broadband Equity, Access, and Deployment, BEAD, Initial Proposal, Volume 2 from the National Telecommunications and Information Administration, NTIA. This approval, part of President Joe Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, unlocks $1.16 billion in federal funding aimed at expanding broadband in unserved and underserved areas. PBDA Executive Director Brandon Carson emphasized the milestone's importance in closing the digital divide for over 276,000 households and institutions lacking internet access. The Commonwealth's comprehensive plan includes local coordination, subgrantee selection, and ensuring affordable service options, with a final proposal due within a year to commence a four-year implementation phase. Yahoo US, US Rep. Dan Moiser supported the Detain and Deport Illegal Aliens Who Assault Cops Act, H.R. 7343, aimed at amending the Immigration and Nationality Act to detain and deport illegal immigrants who assault law enforcement officers. This legislation arose in response to recent attacks on NYPD officers by illegal immigrants, highlighting a gap in current policies. Moiser, drawing on his personal connection as the son of a former police officer, stressed the importance of this bill in bolstering public safety and deterring violence against law enforcement. The bill passed in the House and now awaits further consideration in the Senate, reflecting a commitment to ensuring that those who commit violent acts against police officers face swift and decisive consequences. Yahoo US, the city of Colorado Springs launched the 1000 Neighborhood Gatherings Initiative to combat social isolation and foster community connections. Mayor Yemi Mabalade, alongside First Lady Abby Mabalade and other officials, attended the inaugural events, which included gatherings hosted by community leaders such as Kimberly Gold and Silver Key Senior Services. These events, aimed at building support systems and improving mental health, saw participation from a diverse group of residents. The initiative, running until National Neighbor Day on September 28, encourages individuals and businesses to host neighborhood parties, fostering a stronger, more connected community. Mayor Yemi highlighted the importance of these gatherings in addressing mental health and strengthening community bonds. Yahoo US, New Balance continues to captivate sneaker enthusiasts with its latest collaboration, this time partnering with Paris music collective 99 Ginger. The highly anticipated New Balance 1906 R collab, set to release in June 2024, is a follow-up to a previously exclusive version distributed only to friends and family. The initial iteration, adorned in a glossy green faux croc print, has been a hot item on resale platforms, fetching prices over $1,000. The new retail version tones down the extravagance, incorporating shiny green material on select panels while the rest of the shoe features standard black mesh. This subtle yet striking design tweak is expected to resonate well with fans. Meanwhile, rapper Jack Harlow's first sneaker collaboration with New Balance is set to drop this fall, adding to the brand's buzzworthy lineup. Yahoo US the luxury watch market in the United States is experiencing a significant upswing, largely driven by the surge in second-hand Rolex sales. Watches of Switzerland, a UK-based jeweler, reported a 14% increase in US sales in its fiscal fourth quarter, leading to a 10% rise in the company's shares. CEO Brian Duffy highlighted the US market as underdeveloped, with notable success in New York City, where two retail locations generated $100 million in revenue last year. A key factor in this growth has been the certified pre-owned, CPO, Rolex program, which has doubled its revenue in the fiscal fourth quarter compared to the previous year. Despite a general decline in luxury watch prices, the demand for pre-owned Rolexes remains robust, helping to address supply issues. The company anticipates that Rolex CPO sales could constitute 20% of its revenue by the end of next year, underscoring the potential for continued growth in the U.S. luxury watch market. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, 
thoughtfully curated by the six do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of six do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.